the secret to having healthy long hair. Who wouldn't want to know the secret to healthy long hair? Well, I have just the recipe. Hi guys, how are you? I'm Christina. For those of you who are new, welcome. For those of you returning, welcome back. Today I have something special for you guys. Today I have the secret. Yes, that's what I said. The secret to getting healthy hair. I have found the perfect formula to have your hair going from super dry to amazing. So now I bet you guys are wondering, how can you know the secret for healthy hair? Well, growing up, I have always messed around with my hair, coloring, cutting it, destroying it. My hair got super crazy frizzy as soon as I hit puberty. So super sleek, straight hair was in and I had no idea how to do it until I discovered the flat iron. Now, what I didn't know about the flat iron is that your hair had to be dry and you should probably use a heat protectant and flat iron your hair at 450 is not good for it. So what I would do is I would take that flat iron on my wet hair and sizzle it till it was straight and dry. Yeah, guys, not good, not good. So you could definitely say I've had my experience of fried crispy hair. I had really unhealthy hair about two, maybe three years ago now, cause time is just flying. So I chopped my hair off and I loved, loved the short hair look, but I did it also for the reason to get it healthy. I wanted to cut off all the dead hair and kind of just have a restart. I know today a lot of people are doing the whole shaved hair look. Super badass to shave your hair. I'm not that cool, so I just cut it to my shoulder. So through the years of being a hairdresser and trying to get this mane to be tamed, I have found the perfect formula. I have written down this formula. It's actually on a blog that I had posted on ChristinaDeGenero.com if you guys want to read it to check out more details. I also put on the blog some products that I recommend to follow the formula. Of course, you could improvise and if you have something that you guys prefer, by all means, I'm just letting you guys know what worked best for me. So I have my, my list and we're gonna go through it from step one to the bottom. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's do this. Number one, brush your hair daily. Just like brushing your teeth daily, you don't wanna miss a day without brushing your teeth now, would you? And you might be saying, well, Christina, you can't get plaque on your hair. Well, you kinda do. On top of brushing your hair daily, what that does is it helps stimulate the scalp stimulating the scalp helps the hair follicles to grow and get your hair long and healthy. It also helps detangle it because I have seen, and I am not making this up you guys, on clients I have seen these rat nest balls of knot that you literally need a team of five or more to help get out. And that is due to not brushing your hair. Now I will say, that most of the time it is a extension situation. So if you have extensions, definitely brush your hair. But for those who don't have extensions, brushing your hair is amazing. You gotta get those knots out. Like I said, it helps stimulate the scalp, which you wanna do for hair growth. And it just keeps it clean. Number two, taking your hair vitamins. So there are so many different companies out there for hair vitamins, you guys. So many. I tried a lot of them myself. I feel like a lot of them are awesome at marketing, but really don't do the job. I actually take prenatals. No, I am not pregnant, not yet. But what prenatals is, it's basically like a hair vitamin on steroids. It is a vitamin, multivitamin times a million, and it helps your hair grow so fast. I literally started taking them this summer and my hair grew like a weed. It just went boop, healthy, healthy hair. So hair vitamins. As I said, I recommend prenatals. They are amazing and they taste delicious. You can get them anywhere, CVS, Target, Amazon, CVS, Target, Amazon, Walgreens. I mean, they're everywhere. Vita Fusion is the one that I use. I, for some reason, couldn't remember the name, but it's the big, it's the big green bottle. Can't miss it. Just take as needed. You could probably eat the whole bottle, but that's how good they are. You you guys, if you're definitely just like, you know what, I don't want to take prenatals, I don't want to take a multivitamin, or if you're a guy, I also recommend Nutrafol. Like I said, I'll put links below. If you check out my website, I will put links on there as well. 
Number three, weekly hair masks, especially those who have damaged hair that just needs that extra protein or moisture. Hair mask it, I promise you, you will see and feel the difference. It is unbelievable. Now, I have a couple I could recommend, but since everyone is stuck at home and getting super crafty, I am pretty guilty of this myself. I've been making some homemade and it's super easy. I honestly just went on Pinterest and I was like, homemade hair mask. And I found a bunch and what I used for mine was avocado and coconut oil and olive oil. If you wanna add an egg, you can. I try to stay vegan, so no egg for me, but it adds a lot of protein and shine. Like if you put it in, leave it in all day or for a few hours and then just make sure you have a good clarifying shampoo if you're gonna use all that. Of course, there are the amazing store brand products that you guys can use. L'Oreal has some pretty amazing masks. I actually put a video up about the hair mask that I recommend. So check that out. I'll put it up top for you guys. So weekly hair masks, sometimes I even like to sleep with them overnight. Now I will give you guys a huge warning. Too much protein is no good. Too much protein can give you the opposite effect and actually dry your hair out. If your hair is super, super brittle, protein is definitely needed. But if you guys have decent hair, not too much protein. Once in a while, protein would be perfect. Do not overdo it. And if you guys need any recommendations for a shampoo conditioner, I highly, highly recommend the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. It is unbelievable. Sometimes both is too much. Like I said, if your hair is super damaged, I recommend both, but just using the shampoo or conditioner is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so for those of you who do not wash your hair daily, who have super fine hair, don't listen to this but for those of you who could go at least three plus days without washing your hair what I recommend doing is take a leave-in conditioner and spritz it from mid shaft to your ends especially if your hair is super dry what that does it kind of rehydrates your hair and also acts as a thermal protector so if you're styling your hair like I said it will protect it from the heat as well adding in a leave-in conditioner when you're going a long period of time without washing your hair will rehydrate your ends because your ends do get dry. The longer you wait to wash your hair, it's good for the scalp, but as you work your way down, your hair starts to get dry down beneath. So it just kind of rehydrates it, especially if your hair is super dry and brittle. This is amazing. I would recommend seven seconds by Unite. Unite Hair, you could check out their tag below. Seven seconds is super light in the hair. You can never use too much. I also recommend if you use a leave-in conditioner after you wash your hair, when your hair is towel dry, before you brush it, spritz it all over, acts as a detangler as well. Hydrating, protectant, can't go wrong. This is a good one. If you guys are putting your hair up, as you've seen in my videos, I will recommend using a silk hair tie. I usually put them in my hair tutorials. I don't really talk about it. I kind of do a brief showing of it, but silk or any kind of material, cotton hair ties are amazing for the hair. I'm sure you guys have heard the rumors about silk being great for the hair. It really is. It helps prevent static. It helps prevent frizz. It helps prevent breakage. And hair ties are a key, key component of breakage. Especially if you guys have noticed that small breakage underneath your hair, right underneath here. Sometimes that could be from putting your hair up in a ponytail. And you can see if it's exactly there, then it's from your hair tie. But also the hair ties that have the metal in it or are very elastic, it could get the hair stuck and rip it right out. So silk hair ties, I highly recommend, especially if you're putting your hair up a lot or if you love working out. I love working out. I work out pretty much every day. So my hair is always up in a bun or a ponytail when I do. Silk hair ties. Try to avoid using hot tools as much as you can. I know right now it's pretty easy to avoid hot tools because who will be trying to impress in quarantine unless you guys are making an awesome video like I am or taking some pics for the gram or, you know, just feeling like getting ready that day. But if you guys can avoid any hot tools, do it. Avoid them because they're terrible for your hair. But if you were to use a hot tool, as I mentioned before, make sure you use a heat protectant. I'm telling you, it is key, it will work. A lot of products now are making products with heat protectants in it. So it's just an added component, which is awesome. Just read the bag, read the label, or do your research. Okay, moving on. The last and final step I have for you guys for my perfect formula to having healthy hair is to treat your hair like it's a baby. Treat your hair like baby hair. 
super soft and gentle. Don't be rough. I know sometimes it's so easy to be super rough on your hair, especially when you're brushing it. You know, make sure you have a brush that it helps detangle and doesn't rip your hair out. Using soft hair ties, just be gentle. Treat it like baby hair. Even when you use hot tools, try using it on a lower heat if you can. If you have to go a higher route, you know, because you have crazy hair like I do, be careful. Try to use it less as less as possible. This is not an overnight process. If you do all these steps today, tomorrow you're not gonna wake up with healthy hair. It will be better. I will I will promise you that you will feel physically feel a difference and maybe even see it. But it's definitely a work in progress and good things take time, so keep that in mind. If you guys want details, more details about this product formula, check out my website. I'll put the links below. I'll also recommend some products to use. As I said, I'll put links below for that. If you guys have any more questions, comment below. As I said, as far as the hair mask, I'll put link below to my other videos. Check them out because I talk about products a lot in Hot Tools. So if you guys have any questions, just take a look at my videos or you guys can message me, you know, either one. I love the chat, so don't be shy. Thank you so much for watching. All right, you guys, have a great day. Bye.